The other way you can do this is right onto the needle. So you're going to start again with your slip knot on your crochet hook, but you're going to cross the needle underneath the crochet hook. And when you wrap around your crochet hook, you've also wrapped around the needle right there. So you, when you pull that through, you've got one stitch on your needle already. The trick is then you have to get the yarn back under the needle again before you cast on the next stitch. So you're going to crochet that through and wrap your yarn around the needle on the outside. And you're going to pull that through and wrap your yarn around the outside. So every time you're creating a stitch with your crochet hook, you've also created one on the needle. And this is just saving you the trouble of picking up those stitches later. But you're still going to have to treat this as your sort of zero row. You haven't even started. You've, this is your cast on, but you haven't even started knitting yet. So you make sure your yarn is underneath the, the knitting needle when you create the next crochet stitch. Wrap that around the underside. Create that crochet stitch. little two-hand dexterity practice here. So this way you can cast on exactly the number of stitches that you need. It takes a little bit longer to maneuver, but then your stitches are all already on a needle ready to knit that first row. So let's call that good. About 13 stitches on here. We'll just pull that one through because we don't need that last one. And then this is your cast on row. And then you can start with your working yarn to knit a row. And again, you want to treat this first row with the working yarn as your actual cast on row. So you want to do a a plain row with your working yarn before you do any kind of decreasing or increasing or lace or cables or anything like that. You just want to set up an establishing row before you do anything else. And this also creates that zipper chain that you can take out later. You can also just use this technique with the working yarn and create a braided edge like that.